Hey hi, this is Kirti Shwiyas from bloggingwords.com and in this video I am going to help you how you can create table of content within your WordPress blog. The way you can see on the screen, this is one of my blog posts in that blog post I have already inserted this table of content and let's say if you would like to insert something similar on your WordPress website how you can do that. So in this video I am going to tell you everything step by step and we'll be covering more videos in the future as well if you are owning a WordPress website and would like to learn more about how you can build your successful website. So without wasting let's start this one step by step. First of all let me give you an example. This is a dummy blog post I have created myself which has only title and content but you will find no table of content in the beginning. If you would like to set up a table of content let's go step by step. So step number one just go to your WordPress admin dashboard and then on the left hand side just scroll down under a plugin section you will find here an option called add new. Once you will Click to this, you will find all the list of plugins which are there in the WordPress library. So first of all, just go there and search with the keyword called Easy Table of Content. The moment when you will search it, the first plugin, Easy Table of Content, which is 100% free, you simply have to install this plugin and then after activate that plugin. Now the installation is completed, now simply click to activate this plugin. Now once the activation is completed then simply click to no thanks I will stick with free version for now because we are not going to enroll or going to subscribe for their premium version. So you can see here by default once the installation will be completed on the left hand side you can see under setting there is an additional uh, plugin added called table of content and click to this icon as well table of content then this list will display. So now from there with a simple on off or I must say uh, from there simply checking couple of checkboxes automatically table of content will be added within every single blog post of your website. So let's say here there is a number one option where you would like to enter the table. So you can simply say it's a post or pages. I don't use in the pages so simply select the post. Then we'll not going to select any of other checkboxes. Then would you like to auto insert that means anytime when you will be publishing your blog post automatically this will be inserted otherwise you have to select it manually while creating a content. So for time being I set here as an auto insert. Then if you will scroll down you can see where you would like to add this table of content. Let's take an example in my case this is the title this is the content and this is the first heading. So I would like to enter this table of content before heading then I can come here and then select options accordingly. So you can see after first heading after first heading uh, after first heading, after first paragraph or before first heading. So I will choose this option. Then show when two or more headings are present. What does that mean? Let's say within your content you have a multiple headlines. Let's say this is a S2 tag, another one is a S2 tag, another one is a S2 tag. And obviously this table of content needed when your content is longer than 1000 words and you have multiple headings, right? That's how the people can navigate through your content. So I will choose here at least my content should have two uh, minimum headings to enable this then display headed label you can select this as a header label and then you can provide here a table of content so what happens is this is the title will come there okay then if you will scroll down everything looks okay you can select here from all these pointers whether you would like to have a numbers let's say here you can see I have this numbers one two three four or there is no number before my titles or heading so likewise if you want any sort of a decimal number before every single title, you can choose from this. Okay, I want some sort of a numeric or a decimal or anything. The moment once you are done with that, you can simply make a couple of changes such as the font size, colors and everything. Then after you can scroll down and just come at the bottom and you will find click save changes. The moment when you will click to save change automatically that table of content will be inserted in almost all of your blog posts. So let's save it and then after I will go back and refresh the page and you will find here a table of content will appear there which will list all the headings you don't have to do anything so this is how you can see uh, this is the content and now this is a table of content why is dark mode important that's this heading and then after how to get dark mode that's this one heading and it has its own sub heading which is already been taken so you can see 1.1 point click and 2.2 point so if you don't want this kind of numbers or something you can come back and simply scroll down and you can choose here whether you want any sort of a counters into that or not i selected that none and then you can scroll down click save changes 
come back to the page and then refresh it the moment when the uh, save successful you can see here now there is no title and this title is coming because our title itself contain that number right so likewise you can create a table of content for more let's say if you would like to only include your heading one heading two and heading three into the table of content disable all other options go back to the save changes go and refresh the page you will find only s2 and s3 heading will comes under the table of content if you have more than s4 and h5 tags that will not come into this table so this is how simply you can insert a table of content within your blog post and simply what single plugin which is free of course you can implement this throughout your website no matter it is post or pages hopefully you loved this if this is the case make sure you consider this subscribe because in the future i'll be making more videos to make your wordpress website journey very helpful thank you very much